Hey there everyone, Laurel Beard here today with a very special blog post because I am here to introduce to you the Foundations Box from Katherine Puller Designs. The foundation box is going to include everything here. I'm going to quickly show you. It's a great uh, starter set almost for any new stamper. It's got all the foundations you need uh, for stamping and to create really fun cards. I'm going to show you some that I've already made. And then uh, it's great for if you're a seasoned stamper because these are great items to add into your collection. So what you're going to get is some um, 30 pack of this Catherine Puller cardstock. This is some great white, very soft and smooth cardstock. So it works really well with the inks. Yes, inks. You're also going to get this round acrylic block, which I adore. I don't know if you can pick this up on the video, but I love the it has finger grips. There's like a little indentation right here, and it makes holding the, the block very comfortable. So I'm hoping that she's going to come out with some more of these style blocks in different sizes. Catherine, are you watching? Mm -hmm. You're going to get three stamp sets here that are fantastic and great to create so many fun cards. These are like multi-occasion stamp sets, so you can use them year-round. Fantastic. Let's see, hope I'm in frame here. And then last, we're going to talk about the inks. You guys have been seeing photos all over the place. She cre uh, created a super fun video. She's in a grass skirt. She didn't wear her coconut bra though. I told her to wear a coconut bra, but she didn't do it. Grass skirt. She's drinking a mimosa. She's you know roasting marshmallows. She's hitting a pinata. <laughs> These were all funny sneaks introducing you to her new ink line. The colors that you're going to get in the foundations box are these right here. You're going to get rock and red, orange twist, grass skirt, fiesta blue, and midnight. Now the only way you can get the inks right now is to purchase the foundations box, but these inks will be available for individual sale over in her store next year, I believe in January at some point. So how fun are these? These are real, these are dye inks. The black is a permanent ink, so you can use the black ink with your Copic markers alcohol markers. The other inks are dye inks. They're not permanent, so I would not recommend them with the alcohol markers, but these are such juicy pads. You're going to get a lot of ink on these things, and they're just great, and you get really solid coverage. You can do ink blending, water flicking. They actually stay wet for maybe five seconds, so if you're quick, and I've done it, uh, you can heat emboss with them. So it's really fun. Let me show you the cards that I've got over on my blog today, and then we'll dive into the one card I'm going to make for today's video. All right, let's see. Here's the first card I made, very simple. This is using everything that came that comes in the box. So what I did was I took the card, I lightly blended some of that Fiesta Blue right here. I don't know if you can see it, but very lightly blended it. Then I took the flower from one of the stamp sets and just stamped it in the midnight. And then I stamped the Happy with the green grass skirt. You can see how great and even uh, stamping you get. And then I stamped everything in the midnight and poof, this card is done, you know? All right, second is the happy everything card I created here. Here's where I did some blending, ink blending here. Isn't that pretty? I created a little rainbow with doing some very easy ink blending. Then I flicked on some water to create these water drops. And then I stamped a couple of the little circles here from spot on. Easy peasy. This is the card I'm going to make in the video today, so we'll talk about this in just a second. I'll pop that over to the side. Then I made two more because I couldn't stop playing with this. I did a little ink swiping with their ink pads to create this look, and then I just stamped the You're Amazing and scattered some flower around, flowers around, and you can actually flick, uh, you, you can use the inks to do some water flicks. That's all from the products in this box. And then last, this is my most favorite card. I did some plaid <laughs> using this stamp set, incorporated all the color inks that are in the foundations box right here on this card. Isn't that fun? All right, so let's go ahead and make this one card here. So easy to do. I'm only going to use these three color inks today. All right, so let me show you how quick and easy it is to pull together a card using the items from the box here. I've gone ahead and mounted the striped image right here onto the acrylic block that comes in the box. I'm going to ink it up with my uh, uh, Midnight <laughs> black ink and press down. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Then I'm going to grab the cup a little coffee cup or teacup, whatever your pleasure. And I am going to ink that up with the Fiesta Blue ink. Perfect. 
And then last, I'm going to create some little heart steam, right? you got to have a little steam coming out of your drink. So I am just going to ink this up with the Rockin' Red. And I'm going to do third generation here. I'm going to stamp it once, twice, three times. And the last thing I'm going to do is grab the Just a Note. At this point, you have a couple different options. You can do what I did. You can wrap some twine around the top and tie a bow. You can sprinkle on some sequins. Uh, you can really do whatever you want, or you can just flat out leave it alone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so look how easy it was to create a super quick look. You can make a note card set and give it away to a friend just by using what comes in the foundations box. And that amaze balls. I mean, seriously, let me pull in the other ink pads here to show you everything that comes in the box. So I hope you'll give it a try. Now this is a blog hop, so there's, I don't know, maybe six or seven of us. Uh, you can hop around. You could have the opportunity to win this foundations box. For more information as far as pricing and everything like that, head on over to my blog. I'm gonna link it below in the YouTube description and check it out. And thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time.